Listen up, Squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my merry. You understand? I'm just gonna take a little bit, then I'm leaving. Like it never happened. You wouldn't let a hungry man starve now, would you? AJ, get down! <laughs> What the fuck? Just take a bag and fill it up. Not listening to me, Marlon. Listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Took y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A sim, Mitch. Check it out. Food. That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. Lewis and Violet helped too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. Neither have you. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station, that's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our rabbit traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? Nope. I shoved him into a pack of walkers. They took a chunk out of him. It was awesome! Look, I don't know if he got out of there, but if he did, he won't make it for long. You attacked him? What the fuck? If he survived, you know he's coming back for revenge. What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! It just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible. Clem. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But... Shit. God. Nothing's easy. No one died. You don't have to worry. I always do, though. I can't help it. <clears throat> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, 
I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Brody's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be all right eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. Being a walker is a lot worse than being dead. How do you know? Maybe being a walker is really nice. I doubt it. Me too, but it's not like you can go ask one. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie'd be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because... I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. All of us together. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can... can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. You just gotta hold still. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Okay, here you go. It's yours. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. Time for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. You full from dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. I got to kill fish. Violet looked like she was having a good time. It's nice, not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice too, before the blood. This isn't the ranch. 
Do you like it? I like it. Now that I'm used to it. There's games and the walls make it feel safe. It's good for now, but places change, so do people. It might not stay good. Don't worry, we're not leaving. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. So used to lugging this everywhere, never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. There. You have to water flowers. Not these, they're fake. So they never die? Never. Well, lucky flowers. But they're not as pretty. There. That's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good, too. Oh, I know. That's cool. I know, right? Like, really cool. I'm not sleepy. <laughs> Liar. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time. Good work, and thanks. There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, no, no. Not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. Are you okay? They sound mad. Don't worry. I'll find out what's going on. I know. Quiet again. Mm -hmm. 
Just a little farther. Basement. This locks from both sides. Can't pick it. I have to find another way to the basement. A cellar door out in the yard. According to the map, there should be another entrance to the basement around here. sound like a polite conversation. What are you fighting about? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. Uh... The man you met at the station! We got history. Rhodey! Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just gotta tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlon let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! Ten sisters. I 
Rabbit thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlin was so ashamed hey, of what- Shut up! Ah! What'd you say? Shit. I'm sorry. Shit! What have you done? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're gonna be okay. I, pr I promise. God damn it! Hell! Why did you say that for me? I told you not to say it! Get away from her. Come on, Rudy, come on. I mean it, Marlin. Step back! <sighs> okay. Okay. Just, just stay with her. There's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? First aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Clementine, remember? We talked about driving up into the mountains, where you could see everything. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. Don't worry about that now. Just, just try not to move. You're a good person, Clem. I would have liked to get to know you better. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let them take you. Take us? To make him go away. Like he did. Like he did with ten sisters. Brody. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the hell am I gonna do? Force it in there and lift up the latch. I can't find anything in this dark. Yes, flush it. That'll help. work.
gun down. Get this fucking psycho away from me! Where is she? she she's in the basement. She, she murdered Brody. What? Is that blood on your face? Why Brody? Did you see it happen? Is she a walker now? Hey, Marlin! You might want to get your story straight. Clem! You killed Brody. You hit her so hard, her head split open! That's a lie! I saw you kill her! What the hell is going on? Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! Jesus Christ, Clem, did you do? she talking about? He won't do it, because he needs us alive. Shut up! Brody told me Marlin was gonna give me and AJ up to Raiders in exchange for safety. The same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up, Clementine! Let her talk! Brody told me the truth, and that's when Marlin killed her! Oh, come the fuck on! They only met up with these Raiders because Clem insisted they go out there. Quite the coincidence, isn't it? Shame, I don't believe in those. First thing she did was attack you, Ten. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and her little fucking lunatic? Or me, your friend? She did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders are just gonna come along and take it? I'm just saying. Man, this is fucked up. We don't know her, y'all. Lewis, don't let him do this. Oh no, I am not involved. What? I like you, Clem, but I... Not me. I'm sorry. You're, uh, on your own. I'm sorry. You can do the right thing here, Lewis. Just step the fuck up! Shit. Marlin, come on, man. Drop the gun. Lewis! She killed Brody! We can't let her walk away. Clem, I... I, I gotta trust Marlin. I just... I gotta. I always have. He didn't trust you with the truth. He lied to you about the twins. He doesn't deserve your trust. Shut the fuck up! You don't know what you're doing, man. Come on, dude, just drop the gun. This is how adults do things, not us. Stand down, Mark. Be reasonable. You, you don't understand at all, do you? I'm trying to protect you! All of you! Every fucking one of you! How is pointing a loaded gun around protect anyone? Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. You suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. If they came back, I'd do it again. Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expendable. You're they dick. told me they died. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. Why would you do something like that? 
I trusted you, Merlin. They trusted you. Easy, because he's a coward. I wanted to get them. Stage some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. We can still fix this, Marlin. It's going to be okay. We can make this right. We'll help you. We're all family here. The only one any of us has left. I know I betrayed you. All of you. Just let me leave. You'll never have to see me again. Just let me become a bad memory. Just give me that. Please. If you really think... I saved one for me. 